Di Mwango went to Singapore. All of a sudden, she was lost in action for like five days. Nobody heard about her. She didn't say anything. She didn't tell anyone anything. And then we saw a new video. She was telling her subscribers about how she was deported from Singapore. And now she was able to go there again and things happened for her. Reactors are saying there is something hidden. She didn't say it. People are worried. They really want to know what happened. Some people are saying she was deported. But the question is, was she really deported? Is that the truth? Is that the truth? We shouldn't speculate too much. She said her story. If you go to someone's country and you go against the laws of the country, if it isn't severe, like doing drugs, like assaulting somebody brutally, why must they deport you and send you back to your country? Even if you did drugs, this is what they will do. They will charge you and maybe put you in prison. It means you've committed a serious crime. They will send you before the law, put you in prison. What crime at all did Dim Wango do that they sent her back to Kenya, but not Philippines? Yeah, I think if Dim Wango was deported, which I don't believe it, she should have been sent to the Philippines. Singapore is quite complicated, even though it's a small country and a bit expensive. So if you are not willing to use the money you went there with, then you wouldn't enjoy the country or you wouldn't feel comfortable. Traveling to Singapore isn't a child's play. Sinchao, Sinchao, your boy Melo. They welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, kindly consider subscribing, hit that notification bell so you become part of the Strive family. If you're already a subscriber, I salute you. 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 <laughs> You are one of the amazing people and i really appreciate you for the love and support you guys give me i say thank you so much thank you thank you thank you so much look we are at 3500 subscribers and i say i really appreciate you guys for showing me this kind of love you understand i really 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 love you we will go on live on monday so that we do some q and a and also to officially say thank you to you guys. Like I always say, look, this channel is for sensible people. This channel is for wise people. This channel is for smart people. This channel is for intelligent and open-minded people. So if you don't have those qualities, you cannot be part of this crooked truth court setting. Just take note. If you don't have these qualities, you just have to skip. Please, don't waste time to watch the video at all. I'm just sending uh, a caution to people. I don't want people to get offended. You understand? We try as much as possible to be truthful without any insults, without any attacks. If you are right, we will tell you straight up that you are right. If you are wrong, same way we will not cover things, we will tell you straight up. We don't pamper anybody here. And on this note, I don't want peace. I want problems always. Yes, so this is what we do over here. Guys, there is a case here in my court and we have to, you know, talk about it. People have been talking about it 
for so long like since let's say yesterday or something and people reactors are reacting commenters are commenting everybody is saying what they have to say so i think i, I also have to come and say my parts it's very necessary you understand so this is it this case is about div wango reactors her subscribers you understand her singapore travels and those kind of things now Dim wango went to singapore and all of a sudden she was lost in action for like five days nobody heard about her she didn't say anything she didn't tell anyone anything and then we saw her, her story a new video she was telling her subscribers about how she was deported from singapore and now she was able to go there again and things happened for her so reactors are saying there is something hidden she didn't say it yes there is something hidden that she didn't say it because they are saying that her stories does not add up so people are worried they really want to know what happened so this is what we are going to do we are going to talk about you know entry into singapore when you go to singapore how things are you understand then after that i'll give you a video then i'll try my possible best to tell you why Dim wango got lost in singapore whether she was deported or she wasn't deported so now let's do this look i've been to singapore before i went to singapore for four days for four days i traveled from uh vietnam to singapore because i was in vietnam i was a resident i was a resident in vietnam so i traveled from vietnam to singapore same way dim wango also traveled from the philippines to singapore so it might be similar because all of them are southeast asia so this is what happened when i was traveling to singapore i went with a friend we were two so we booked our flight ticket we booked our hotel uh, our hostel we slept in a hostel so our hostel you know we tried to gather other things and added them which were not necessary at the at the border you know so we were going to spend four days and we needed four hundred dollars each because each day singapore you know says that you need to have hundred dollars for your expenses and everything for a day so each day was hundred dollars we had four hundred dollars each or you can have more so we went to uh vietnam airport and the airline that we were using made sure that they made sure that we have um our ticket booked in and out we have our hostel or hotel we have the money we are going to spend in our hand this is what the airline asked so the airline communicated with the immigration that is what they said in uh singapore and then we were on the flight so we went to singapore we got to the immigration and for me and my friend we didn't have any problems all the access is what are you coming to do here where are you coming from we are coming from uh vietnam what are you coming to do here we are coming to rest we are on holidays we are coming to rest what do you do in vietnam we work in vietnam oh welcome to our country boom boom stamp enter so i don't know what happened to dim wango before she entered but from her story the first time she was asked a whole lot of questions they said i'm sorry you cannot enter but for the second trip she was allowed to enter according to her they asked her same questions which for me i think traveling from philippines to uh vietnam definitely the the, the airline will check because it has been like a tag for africans yes yeah, something like that that is the truth we have to say like a tag for africans so you need to prove that you are going there genuinely and you will come back you understand so they need to put you in some test that is what the airline did i don't know if that's the same airline the airline in philippines did to the mango because she was saying when she got to the airport the immigration asked her question so she entered finally she entered 
Now, some people are saying she was deported. When she entered, she was deported. Even some people did not understand her story. They were relating the old trip to this new trip. They were saying she was deported. She didn't enter the country. But the truth is, she entered the country. I've been to Singapore and where she went, I, I've been there. So she entered the country. But the question is, was she really deported? This is the question. Because people are saying she's hiding something. That is why she went into exile for like five days. They didn't hear anything from her because she was deported. But is that the truth? Is that the truth? Now, look at this. Before I play the video and analyze some things, let me say this. If you go to Singapore, okay? Now, Singapore is mostly, mostly a tourist place. Singapore is mostly a tourist place. Look, tourism give them most or much of their monies. I'm telling you the truth. So a whole lot of people in Singapore are tourists. The, 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 the main people in Singapore, the Singaporeans, they are very few. You know, the country is very small. They are very few. And there are a whole lot of Indians too over there. So, if you go there as a tourist, you can shoot video everywhere. 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 So, people are saying maybe uh, Dim Wango shot video somewhere and uh, they deported her because of that. And even if you cannot shoot somewhere and you are shooting, good. You have gone against the laws. Maybe you didn't see that you cannot shoot here. Even if the police or the authorities arrest you, does that warrant deportation? All they will do is maybe to caution you, you cannot film here, or they will fine you. But that shouldn't warrant a deportation. Is that a serious offense that they, they should deport you? Some are saying, oh, she was wearing bikini. That is why. The beach, you have to wear bikinis. That is why they have the Sentosa Island. There is a beach there. You have to wear bikinis. Some are saying maybe she did prostitution. and Oh, no. Nobody knows why she was deported. So, we shouldn't speculate too much. She said her story. You should believe it or you shouldn't believe it. But you shouldn't speculate what you don't know. This is it. You shouldn't speculate. You understand? You shouldn't speculate too much. Now, the thing is, if you go to someone's country and you go against the laws of the country, if it isn't severe, like doing drugs, like assaulting somebody brutally, why must they deport you and send you back to your country? Like I said, even if you did drugs, this is what they will do. They will charge you and maybe put you in prison. It means you've committed a serious crime. They will send you before the law, put you in prison. So, people who are speculating, what crime at all did they want to do that they sent her back to uh, 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 Kenya, but not Philippines? And there is one thing too that we should know. Look, the country where you traveled from to another person's country, in case of deportation, this is what I know because I've seen people that have been treated like that. If you, you've also seen people that have been treated differently, you let me know in the comment section. But that is where it ends. So, uh, this is it. They will send you back to the country where you come from. They will put you on the next available flight, the flight that you brought. Unless the flight is not, the flight is not operating again. They will put you on that flight and send you back to where you, you, you came from. Or, unless maybe the country you came from, your visa is expired. In this case, maybe they have to send you back to your own country. So for me, I think if Dimuango was deported, which I don't believe it, she should have been sent to the Philippines. You understand? Not straight to Kenya. Do you get what I mean? Maybe she came to Kenya to deal with her own issues, which we don't know. You see, so all these are speculations. All these are speculations. Just because we reactors, we want to know. We want to assume. We want to say things 
just to figure out things, which is not a crime. But the people, commenters who are speculating or just saying things that she was, she did this, she did that, she did those kind of things, we, we shouldn't be, be doing that. We should be careful about what we say. You understand? Yeah, so this is how it is. Singapore, you can shoot videos and anyway, it's a touristic area. Even if you can shoot over there, you, that doesn't warrant deportation. No, maybe you will be fined or you will be cautioned. You see, this is how it is. So now let's go and watch the video and check things that may cost Dim Wango for going into exile. For me, I don't believe she was deported. I've given my reasons. So let's go check it. It's not that good, but uh, I don't know. I guess we just still need to go because we don't have all the time in Singapore. Defi actually, I'm remaining with like uh, three days and uh, I'll be going. Now, did you hear that? She made it clear that she's remaining with three days. That was, I think, the second day or the third day. So probably she had only seven days, six days to live in Singapore. It may be that she decided to do a transit. So she sees the country and go to Kenya. Just four, five, six, seven days. You get what I mean? So it may be that when she entered the country, her plans didn't go as expected. So she wanted to do her own checks in the country. She wanted to just move around in the country so that, she, you know, if you are holding camera and videoing things, you don't even get time for yourself to enjoy things. So it may be that because the time was limited, she decided to enjoy the country more by herself. Maybe she will go back again sometime to spend like 30 days so that she can show her subscribers around. That is just what I'm saying. Her time was limited, so she decided to enjoy the place alone, maybe. Now, let's see this. Wow, guys, Singapore. Look at the cars in Singapore. Yay! <sighs> when you see such cars, for sure you know you are in a rich country. Now, this is a loose talk. I'm just saying it, by the way. Why should you say that when you see such cars, it means you are in, in a rich country? You know, such comments are those which makes people in the West disrespect Africans. They think that Africans, we don't have anything better in our country. They think that we don't enjoy what they enjoy in their country. I can tell you for a fact that this class, Ghana, we know Ghana is not classified as a rich country. But Ghana, there are people in Ghana who have this kind of cars. Lamborghini, Bugatti, and those kind of cars, they have it in Ghana. I'm telling you. Maybe in Kenya they don't have, which I doubt it. They have it in Kenya. In, in Kenya. But Dim Wango, listen to what she said. Such a loose talk. is closing wow actually it's my first time huh? okay yes we're good to go hmm. so maybe i can sit on this side so that you can have the view i'm so happy about this first time in the next cable so if you watch this video so well, which I'll play the continuation. Look, you could see clearly that Di Mwango was like lost. She was like lost. She was like, she doesn't feel comfortable. She was like, she doesn't know what to do. She was surprised to be in such a country. You understand? Already when she was going, she knew that the country is expensive. Trust me, loitering around in Singapore, moving around, it's kind of too electronic. It isn't like Thailand. It isn't like Malaysia. It isn't like Philippines. It isn't like Vietnam. Even their subway, the MRT, and the, is it CRT or something? I've forgotten. 
but the subway look so electronic it's like the Hong Kongs, the Chinas, and those kind of things. So you could see clearly that Dim Wango felt so lost. And this is another thing. In Singapore, a whole lot of the population over there, people are like tourists. Whole lot of people over there are tourists. So if you go there and you don't know someone, which is even difficult, if you have someone for the person to host you, it's so difficult. And if you don't have a partner walking around with, it's kind of challenging because you might get lost a whole lot of times. So for me, I think that Dean Wango wasn't feeling it in the country because she didn't get a partner who will walk with her in the country. You know, most of the times if she travels to other countries, you see she will find her subscriber over there or she will find some Kenyans over there. And these people will be walking around with her. They will be showing her places. They will be giving her time. But this time, it looked like she never got someone like that. Because everybody over there is, you know, like a tourist. And those who work over there too are like, yo, serious hustlers. They wouldn't have time for you. Someone will be living in a, in a small space which he or she cannot entertain you over there. They wouldn't get time for you. So this is how it is. She didn't get company. And maybe she didn't get people to host her. So she wasn't feeling comfortable in the country. That is why maybe she decided to, let's say, maybe stay at one place or stay at her corner. Enjoy whatever she wanted. Enjoy at a small place. And then come back to wherever she want to come to. Or maybe she decided to enjoy places, feel the place. By herself without using cameras to, you know, be in any struggles. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. You get it. So that is how it is. Now let's see. Ah, oh, the speed increases as you keep going. Yay, guys! Oh! <laughs> wow, look at the view! Yay! Oh, this is beautiful. Wow! Oh, this is the view. So. Wow, isn't this amazing? I honestly love the view. Okay. The good Singapore's premier leisure destination. Mm. While it started as a simple fishing village and then used as a British military base during World War II, okay. Sentosa was redeveloped by the Singapore government for tourism and leisure in 1972. And it's easy to see why this beautiful island has been so popular and successful. Although <sighs> So they're giving us the history about Sentosa Island. And so guys, you see what I'm talking about? She feels so lost. Very, very, very lost. Singapore is quite complicated. Even though it's a small country, it's quite complicated. And a bit expensive. So if you are not willing to uh, use the money you went, you went there with, then you wouldn't enjoy the country or you wouldn't feel comfortable. Because yes, they've said $100 a day. But you can decide to spend $20 a day or $30 a day. You understand? Yeah, so that is how it is. It's the view So good. Okay, thank you so much. No, I wish it had the shell, but it's okay. This is what you have here. Okay, I wish it had the green shell, but it's okay. <laughs> now, listen, listen to another loose talk. You wish... The, the coconut had the green shell. What are you going to use the green shell? Are you going to chew it? You need only the juice and maybe the fruit in it. Why are you asking of the shell? Are you going to chew the shell? Now let's talk about this too. See, like I said, Singapore is a very, you know, uh, 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 expensive country. So even for Dimwango to enter Sentosa Island, she paid $35, Singaporean dollars which is like $30, American dollars. So if you are not planned for this, if you are not planned for this, will you feel comfortable in the country? Look, 
almost all the beautiful places in Singapore, the tourist places in Singapore, if you are entering, it's either you pay such amount or more. I'm telling you the truth. You see, she went to Marina San, uh, San Marina San Bay. She couldn't even enter where the gardens that she she has to enter because it's very expensive. So even if you have the money and you did not plan or you haven't planned to spend that money, you will not enjoy the country. You wouldn't even like to go out. All the sites that you have to go, you need to pay money, huge monies. So if you are someone who doesn't like to spend money, it wouldn't make sense for you. So what you will do is to just stay in your hotel or in your hostel and just move around that place and eat around that place. So this might be the reason why she went into exile because she wasn't feeling comfortable. Nobody to show her around. Nobody has time. Wherever you have to go, you need to pay money. The tourist attraction places. Do you get what I mean? Now, let's listen. From the cost of things, let's listen to what she said over here. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. This is what I got. Okay. It's Buka Juice, but they removed the, the green part. Okay. So, let's enjoy fresh from Thailand. Okay by the beach guys i decided to take a walk with my buka juice and actually this goes for 12 singaporean dollars that is actually nine usd for this you can imagine and for this actually in my country kenya it goes for a half a dollar okay in uh, philippines it's a dollar okay also in thailand this is the most expensive buka juice i've ever drank in my life it goes for nine us dollars <laughs> so you heard that just coconuts it cost 12 singaporean dollars nine american dollars she buys it like one dollar in thailand and philippines buys it 50p in kenya so imagine that she's not planned for this she went to a tourist site paid 35 dollars she went to buy coconut she's paying nine dollars even in america i don't think they buy coconut for nine dollars maybe three four five dollars so if you are not ready for this do you think that you will enjoy the country or do you think that she will enjoy moving around those touristic places which they charge money for you to enter and if you want to eat or drink over there to you pay huge amount of money so for me i think that she only decided to just be in her hostel or in her hotel not move around for that five days so that later later if she gets to know oh okay this is it this is that this is that she can go there again show her followers around so that they enjoy the place or she only wanted to enjoy the place if she wanted to spend the money she wanted to enjoy the place spend that money for herself look at places and enjoy the place and later she can go show her followers that place with camera do you get what I mean? Now let's see. Hey guys, when you come to Singapore, just prepare money. It's really, 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 really expensive. Okay, so guys, that is it. You see, first, she, we, we saw her in that cable car behaving like she was lost. Behaving like someone who, you know, is... I don't know how to put it. Just judge it. Secondly... She was entering Sentosa. They charge her thirty-five dollars, which is American thirty dollars. She bought coconut for nine dollars American. It looks like she doesn't even know anybody in Singapore. Even if she knows somebody, all her subscribers are there. It might be that nobody showed up for her, so she felt so lonely. Like I said, navigating through Singapore is quite electronic, and if you are alone. You wouldn't enjoy it. If you try to use taxis and those kind of things, you will pay a whole lot of money. Unless maybe you use buses, which you will get 
uh, that a card for tourists. They have certain amount of money. You can use it to you leave the country for if 30 days or 10 days or whatever days. You understand? Maybe she didn't get that. Maybe. I don't know. So this is how it is. She didn't know anybody there. That is how I saw it because she didn't show anybody in the video that she knows that person. She's going to this person's place or that person's place. Nobody has time. Everybody is a tourist. Few people are working over there. And for someone to waste their time showing you around, they wouldn't get time. They wouldn't get time for you. So you wouldn't enjoy the country. You wouldn't feel good in the country. So what you have to do is be at your one corner. The little money you spent, you sent, spend it or maybe minimize it. Watch things just around and go back to your country. Or even if you want to spend money because you don't want to be moving around the country within that short time because maybe she would want to come back for like 30 days and do a real good tour of the place for her followers. So she decided that, okay, these five days, let me wait, show myself, look at places, and later I come and show my people. So for me, I think that she used that place like a transit to go back to Kenya. And going back to Kenya, I think because Jam Tor is in Kenya, she needs to go back and cover up things because we can see that now Jam Tor has heat up. It's heated so up that she wants to do things. So maybe she has to go and cover up things. Maybe. The only mistake she did was that during that five days, she could have communicated with her followers, even through uh, the community. Posted, oh, maybe because of this, because of that, that is why you haven't heard from me. I'll come back soon. But she did not. She did not. Guys, I want you guys to know that Traveling to Singapore isn't a child's play. Yes, it's expensive. But hey, it's possible to go. It's just little money. You understand? You can go. Anyways, I have to give my judgment over here. Now, Dean Mwango hasn't done anything so bad. For me, I don't believe she was deported until proofs come out that she was deported. I'm not going to believe that. It's just speculations. And she was just telling us about her previous deportation. She didn't enter the country that time. Now she entered. She entered. So this would be my judgment for her. Not communicating to her followers. For her, not communicating to her followers. Now, putting her followers in suspense. Now letting people to speculate about what happened to her. Dimongo, listen to me. Listen to me. You see, in your village, in your village, there are gutters over there. There are gutters. So just get your shovels. I don't know if you will make someone help you or not. Clean these gutters and make them clean. Make them so nice. Next time, learn how to communicate what is happening to you, to your followers, so early. Don't put people in suspense. This is my judgment for you. Anyways, on here, we always strive for glory, we strive for success, we strive for travels, we strive for the truth. And anything important today, we are striving for good communication between uh, your followers or other people. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell so you become part of this tribe family. Like this video, let it go viral. Leave a comment. And tell me about what you also think. Do you still believe that she was deported? Or you side with me that these are the kind of things maybe it's happened to her. That is why she didn't show up anywhere. Remember that your comment or your judgment ends just in the comment section. I will read it. If I feel that it's good to reply, I will reply you. But if it's not good and you insult me, hey, in this court, if I sit here, if you insult me, insult you back. But if I leave this court and I'm on the street, if you insult me, I will not even mind you. This is what we do over here. Your boy Melody, I will see you in the next video. Court rise.
Nobody said they love you. You first step up your hustle. Cause one day you gotta make it. If you don't make money, friends go dog you. Nobody said they love you. You first step up your hustle. Cause one day, cause one day. No you gotta love.